just me, a trans man, going into the women's restroom because that's where the conservatives think I should be. Oh wait, never mind. I wouldn't do that because I actually respect women's comfort and safety. Alright, now obviously upon watching this video, I thought, um, well, you might say you're respecting women's privacy, whatever, but at the same time, you know, you are a woman, I am a woman. And also, um, you're not really respecting the men's privacy by using their space. Now you're invading their space, blah, blah, blah. I know what you're thinking, Mars, but doesn't that make you a hypocrite? Yeah, it does. And also, Mars, is it cool to call you a woman? You seem to be very nonchalant about that. I don't fucking care. I don't know. I choose my battles wisely. And honestly, I'm just trying to be real here, okay? Look, I'm a female. That dude was a female. Obviously, if you don't know us personally, and unless you're like one of the pros that's out there constantly trying to make sure they correctly sex someone. Otherwise, when we're just passing by in a crowd, most people aren't going to like totally analyze us and and when it comes to bathrooms for the most part again depending on how busy the bathroom is what bathroom i would say a men's bathroom is totally different people go in people go out you don't most dudes don't really stand and analyze everyone who's in there we just go in we just go out just go in and go out that's it that's all that's happening there women's room you go in you stay in, you talk to your girlfriends about stuff, you apply makeup, you use the toilet, you talk on the toilet, or you talk uh, while you're sitting on the toilet. You know, like, there's just, like, so much more happening in women's restrooms, which is why some women's restrooms have a lounge area. You have, like, a whole sofa area to just, just like, hang out. Um, I've never been to a men's bathroom that has that. What men's bathroom typically have are interesting urinals that i wish i could use <laughs> honestly like not being able to stand to pee isn't like the end of the world for me until i saw that the urinals get creative and i'm like oh, come on man like i saw a urinal that was basically set up like a goal like you were gonna shoot like a soccer ball into there or a basketball or whatever like it was like a like a like you know like a net like a goal net and obviously it was only then that i decided to grab a beer, stand over the urinal, and make everyone feel like I definitely am taking a piss in the urinal, as well as validate my own damn self. Before I go further into discussing the subject and what a complete hypocrite I am and how entitled I am to use certain spaces or not, uh, I do want to show these two tweets. So in the first tweet, which, by the way, it was in response to the video that I showed, which Ariel Scarcella tweeted it out, he, uh, Mr. Menno replied, and he said, I'm asking her to stay out of men's spaces. And when he says her, he's obviously referring to the trans man in the video. Of course, she won't because she needs her magical man feels validated. There's nothing reasonable about any of this gender madness. And he goes on to say, I actually respect women's comfort and safety. Yeah, but you don't respect the boundaries, privacy, comfort, and rights of actual men. So if you want to stay out of women's spaces, that's up to you, but stay the hell out of men's spaces. Piss in the bushes, get yourself a bucket, hold your wee up all day, I don't care. Stay out, you interlooping fraud. Okay. Alright, so let's just start with the main thing here, right? So... The bathroom issue has been mostly an issue because women don't feel safe with the fact that any man could just identify as a woman and use that space. And it is known that sexual predators will use this to gain access to female space spaces. So that's a... That's that's the thing that's happening. So I get it. I've always understood that. Um, I rarely have heard of men uh, in the way that this dude's go on about how uh, he wants his privacy, actual men only, uh, you know, don't care where you pee, just don't pee in here, whatever. 
I don't really hear dudes going on about the bathroom issue um, in this way as much. So um, that's new, but I know that it's coming from a valid point. So if, in fact, the restrooms were separated based on sex and somebody takes cross-sex hormones or doesn't and just, you know, identifies as the opposite sex, the question is, does that then give them the right to use whatever bathroom they think they're entitled to? Now, the answer to that is no. <laughs> but, and yes, there is a but, which I'm sure some people will get upset about. Realistically, I am not about to go fight someone over using the bathroom, okay? I've said this before so many times. I don't like public bathrooms. I've never liked public bathrooms. It has nothing to do with the fact that I happen to be one of those transgendered folks. I don't, I don't care about using the public bathroom. I try to avoid it if possible. Like, I will go if it can't wait, right? I will absolutely go at work. I work an eight-hour shift. I ain't going to hold it all day. They do have some family restrooms, and when whenever there's a third option, I always go for it. And I'm not doing that, by the way, because I want to make, you know, other people feel good or, 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 or because I'm pandering to other people. You know, I got to clarify that point because I'm always accused of that. But I do that because... I hate public bathrooms, and I don't want to – if I have to go take a piss, I don't want to share the bathroom experience with anybody because people, to me, are disgusting. Whether they're a man or woman, they're gross as far as, like, they're, they're dirty, <laughs> you know? Um, they're, they're just dirty, and, and I know that they're dirty individuals because of the way that they use the bathroom and treat the bathroom when they go, you know? It's just gross. So, no, I don't want to use the bathroom. But it's more of a I need to. And also, I understand how me um, using the opposite sex restroom makes it seem like I'm entitled to and because or, or because I need to feel validated with my man feels or whatever he said. Um, but that's not the case. It's very simple. Going to the women's. Well, I guess it's not very simple, obviously. I've made it complicated by choosing this, and this is not your responsibility, it's my responsibility. That point I get, but, you know, so, like, basically, a lot of this stuff, I understand where he's coming from, okay, fair enough, but, and yeah, there is a but, I'm also not going to not go to the bathroom, give myself a UTI, kiss myself, or whatever, and, uh, and I'm also not going to, uh, you know, go into the women's room, which, by the way, it's not even it's not even about like because I would feel uncomfortable in the women's room, but I would clearly cause some kind of issue going into the women's room for myself and perhaps for women. And I don't want an issue. If I'm going to go to the bathroom, I just want to go to the bathroom and get out. I don't want to go in the bathroom to cause a scene to to get you know questioned. Or whatever, you know? And I know that this is something that happens to butch women, right? This happens to butch women who, who aren't on testosterone. So if it already happens to some women who are not on testosterone, then what do you think is going to happen if I, looking the way I do, use a women's restroom, clearly a butch woman and someone who looks as masculine as, as I do, right, is... I'm going to get accused of different things and looked at in a different way. Basically, what I'm saying is it's going to be a step beyond what your average butch woman gets. And no, I don't want to have to deal with that. I know it's not your responsibility, so I get that point. But, uh, you know, like I said, like if there's if there, if I can wait and go to the bathroom at home, I do. If it cannot wait, I will absolutely try to use if it's there you know, a third space option. Again, not because I'm trying to make other people feel good, but because I don't like sharing the bathroom with anybody. I just want to go in my in my own privacy and, or not go and just go at home. At home is the best privacy. But, you know, and lastly, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm just not going to, it, it. this is where like I, 
I've always said this whole bathroom thing, you know, it, it could have been like everything else. It could have gone down differently, but it, but it didn't. If I'm being totally honest, when I, before I, I began transitioning and at like, let's say like the first couple of months of transitioning, I never thought about the bathroom thing. It wasn't even, it didn't even enter my mind. I was never, it was never something that I thought about as far as like, oh, I can't wait to um, start, you know, transitioning and to taking testosterone for such a time for, for a long time or long enough to where I I'm able to be, you know, seen more as the opposite sex because I want to use the men's room. That's never been a thing for me. I honestly don't care about that. But I will say uh, how how kind of dumb and maybe even you know ignorant of me to not consider that as a as an issue that would come up. But I didn't, and I'm sure a lot of other trans men or or even I don't know trans women thought about this maybe. But I never thought about it. I never thought about the consequences that would come with using a public bathroom after I transition. And something that I want to point out as well is the very big difference between trans women and trans men because of sex differences. You don't really see trans men using male spaces for some sort of like sick fetish that they have, or at least I haven't seen it. But with trans women, or some at least, you do see this. You do see that some trans women are clearly doing this for some kind of sick fetish that they have. And they get some sick arousal from being in these spaces with women. Again, like this is not an issue with trans men. And I'm not arguing that because that isn't an issue with trans men, that it somehow validates the reason that we should be allowed to use men's spaces, right? My argument isn't that we should be allowed and we're entitled to, but rather that there are different safety issues that come with trans women being able to use female spaces that don't exist with men in you know with men having to deal with trans men in their space for men it's more of a i want my privacy i want this just to be like for men for women it's privacy and safety totally different okay and everything i'm saying right now is strictly about adults this is not what i think in regards to schools using gender neutral bathrooms or letting you know boys go into the the girls room or any of that because to me the way i've always seen it is none of this should be happening with kids so it shouldn't even be an issue there should be no kids getting on puberty blockers no kids getting surgery no kids transitioning in fact if all of that wasn't happening we wouldn't even have to deal with kids and the whole bathroom issue in schools i've seen I'm not saying this happens often, but I have absolutely, you know, seen this happen at least a couple of times where there's a story about a trans man that did try to use the women's uh, restroom. And then when they walked out or even before they walked in, they got, you know, beat up by the women's boy, a woman's boyfriend or husband or someone who was out there watching what was happening because their assumption is probably that that's a man trying to invade women's spaces when it's actually just a trans man going into you know the, the the space that they should go based on their sex so what i'm trying to say here is once again uh what people are what people are pointing out is valid but the solution is like just the solution doesn't make sense because we're at a different point here okay i Again, I'm not trying to put the weight of the situation on someone else to solve it, but all I know is that I'm not about to be like a bathroom activist and stand out there and, and try to do, you know, the right thing to change things or, or whatever. Basically, the point I'm trying to make here is the only way for this to, to go the way that, you know, a lot of gender critical folks want is if there was some kind of activism surrounding this. Like, it would have to become normalized and common for people to know that sometimes you're going to see a woman in a, in a, in a female restroom that has a beard, you know, or that sometimes men are going to see males in a dress 
in in you know in their bathrooms like that's the only way that it would actually change but it, this, this is another one of those things where like people are fed up people just want to be like no you can't do that no you're not entitled no we got to go back to the way things were this isn't normal this isn't okay and, and i get what you're saying but it's just not gonna work that way there's gonna have to be some kind of major change or some level of activism in bathrooms for it to change.